Hey folks, this is Shovel from A Bucket and a Shovel. And yes, you are looking at my shower wall. Now this is a warning. It's going to be a video on urine fertilizer. So please, if you get blushed out or get grossed out about looking at people's urine, please don't go any further because you're going to see my pee. Okay, so urine fertilizer is one of the best fertilizers that there is. It's totally organic and I'm a fairly healthy individual. I don't take any kind of hormones or female type things like that that would cause my urine to have things it shouldn't have in it. So I have a hat that is called that I got from a medical facility and I put it in my toilet and I peed in it this morning to collect my urine and I'm going to put my urine into a bucket and I'm going to add 20 parts water to one part of my urine and I'm going to fertilize all my little seedlings with it. How organic more can you get than that, right? So, okay, here goes. So turn away, delete, move on if you don't want to see human pee. This is my urine. I have in this bucket, it says I have approximately uh, 20 cc's, 20 ounces of urine, or about 550 milliliters. So we're going to take my urine. I didn't wear a glove. It's my urine. So with somebody else's urine, I'd probably wear a glove. And I probably should wear a glove, but you know. Okay, I got my urine in my bucket. And now I'm going to add 20 parts water to one part of my urine. Okay, I've got my um, some distilled water and uh, get the top off there. I'm going to pour my distilled water into my urine. Looks like I need to drink more water or free yellow this morning. So I'm just going to mix it here and put, it, put the whole thing in. Okay, I figured I would go ahead and put another gallon of distilled water. It looks still looks pretty yellow. So and since it's supposed to be 20 parts water to one part one ounce of uh, urine, I'll just go ahead and put a couple gallons here. That should be funny. That's a two gallon bucket. There we go. That'll be enough. And it's thinned out enough. It should work. So now I'm going to take this pure organic fertilizer and go put it on the seedlings. And I'll let you see whether they survive or whether my urine kills them. And just to prove that I am definitely going to be using my urine, here's my urine in the bucket. And then I always put this big green tub in my bathtub. And uh, that's where I water my, my seedlings, my plants. And then I'm going to pour this to a bucket of urine in the bathtub, so it's got a few inches. Well, not in the bathtub, but in the green tub that's sitting in the bathtub. I just pour it all. There we go. Set this over here. Okay, so then what I do is I take my seedlings out of the little green trays, out of my little black trays, can't get my words right today. And I set them in the tub so that they can soak. Now the reason why I don't put them in the black tray and put them in there is because inevitably every single time I've tried that, they fell over. And that's just not really cool. Here, hang on just a minute, I'll show you. So I have my seedlings in this black little seed tray but when I it's probably just me and nobody else has the issue but I uh, I can't drain them by picking them up like some people do on the YouTube and just squeeze the black tray together and out comes the water and they don't lose anything I seem to always dump something out so I just take them put them in this green thing put the water in there fill it up with different little plants and then I when they've sit in here for about 20-30 minutes then I'll take them and put them back in their 
trays and then put them back underneath the lights. One green bin all full and they'll sit there for 20 to 30 minutes and then I'll take them out and fill it up with some more. I just want to do a little quick update here. Um, these are the plants that um, I used my urine fertilizer on. I'm getting ready to put them outside into um, the greenhouse that I've built. Um, as you can see, I do believe I did not kill any of them. They look fairly healthy. They're all growing nice and strong. Um, I've got, you know, peppers and beans and, and beets and endive and lettuce and kale. Uh, there's a couple of my tomato plants I'm going to set outside to see how they do in the greenhouse. There's a little experiment. I got broccoli. I got cabbage. Things are looking really well. So for me anyway, from my little experiment, I do believe that uh, my, my uh, urine fertilizer worked pretty damn good and I'm going to continue to keep using it on them. This one has little, I put it in the sun in the window. It's got a little sun sunburnt there, but uh, it'll be just fine. So I'm going to get these planted outside today in our little greenhouses and uh, see how they go from there. They should have a nice start. Our frost should be almost over. We had a really light one last night. It was like 30, 31 was all. So uh, the heaviest of the frost are over, I'm hoping. Unless Mother Nature wants to slap me across the face with a really big one. And then that, of course, is her privilege. So hope the lighting's okay on here. Our big light that we had for taking videos and stuff, we plugged it into the electrical outlet and it stopped working. It went pop and we uh, that was its second time to plug it into the socket so we have to take that back and and uh, see what happens but uh, uh, talk to you all later have a great day bye